How you doing? There's two words that strike terror in the heart of any wise guy. They represent the end of freedom and the start of a life sentence. I'm pregnant! <laughs> My life was over. You can be a good father, or you can be a good fella, but you can't be both. Still, I wanted it all, so I made it work. Folks, hit the floor and keep the crying to a minimum. Anyone moves, you let me know. Oh, oh. They moved. I don't remember that. The FBI does. I spent two years on the most wanted list for that one. Anyway, after that, I decided to keep work and kids separate. After I showed you how it's done. No, because jobs come and go, but families forever. Yeah, like herpes. Ah, uh, herpes ain't forever. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Jimmy. Oh, Cookie. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Cookie. Oh, God! Would you guys shut up? Just think of other people and finish already. Go back to sleep, Teresa! How can I with the golden age of porn knocking down my wall? We better be real quiet. <laughs> mm. Yo. Oh, oh. You sound like a walrus and a seal fighting over a fish. Keep it down, Sea World. Let's go find somewhere more private. Where's my robe? I just came to say goodnight. I'm still turned on. Ketel Records! That's a Harvest Moon if ever I saw one. For Christ's sake, McCool, what do you want? I didn't mean to interrupt this nostalgic reenactment of prom night, Jimmy. I'll come back. Ah, oh, forget it, McCool. The moment's passed. What do you need? For starters, Cookie, I can't help but notice your airbags are deployed. Here, take my jacket. A colleague of mine is going away on assignment, and her house sitter backed out at the last minute. Thank God you came to us. Really? No, you jackass. Who cares about your friend? I'll do it. I can't get any sleep with the walking dead here moaning all night. Yes, I got an eyeful of that outside and subsequently won't eat for a week, but I think this is a job for your brother. That is so unfair. Just because Petey's a boy, you think he's more compliment than me. The word is competent. Oh, so now I'm stupid because I'm a girl? Certainly not. I would never discriminate on the basis of gender. And even though I didn't, I will offer you the job. Just to be safe. That's the Canadian way! Yes! For Canada! <laughs> where Equal Opportunity just got a girl an unpaid internship! Fifty bucks says she burns the joint down in an hour. Give me forty, I'll do it right now. Teresa, you have three priorities whilst house-sitting for my colleague. Money up front, no kissing, backdoors extra? I'm sorry, what? Nothing. You must keep the house spotless and feed the dogs regularly. <laughs> <laughs> They're like friends who never judge. And then there's Siegfried. Who's Siegfried? Siegfried is a dwarf alligator, my friend's pride and joy. Yeah! Beware, he likes to bite. How am I supposed to pick it up? Very carefully. <laughs> that gator is the coolest thing i ever seen. I'm staying here too. As am I. As am I? 
No wonder bullies tape your ass shut. I don't know if everyone staying over is a good idea. It's a great idea, Cook. We'll get everybody out of the house. Besides, Teresa can totally take care of that creepy lizard. This creepy lizard can take care of himself. Now, who wants to cook me dinner? You hear that silence? It's glorious. No kids hounding us. Let's take advantage of this peace and quiet while we can. Yeah, why hop in the sack right away? We got all night. Yeah, we're empty nesters. I'm gonna go take a long, hot bubble bath. Good idea, babe. I'm gonna catch up on my re... You got condoms, big boy? Yeah, yeah, right here. I even got the glow-in-the-dark ones. Are you nuts? We need those. I want you right now, Jimmy. And you don't gotta worry about being premature, because I don't mind. Really? I can just... Wait a sec, I know what this is. You want another baby! What? Don't be silly. A baby? That's bananas. I just want to make a baby with my husband. I mean, make love to a baby. I mean, make a love baby. I... <sighs> Fine. If you don't want to, maybe it's for the breasts. I mean, breast milk. I mean, oh, forget it. You want to have another baby? Are you nuts? We got four kids already. We got three. I'm counting Cheech. Come on. Having a kid now would be like shanking a guy in the shower two days before parole. Boom! Another 20-year stretch. I'm putting my foot down. Both foots. No more kids. Okay, fine. The man has spoken. I guess I'll just polish this little spot here on the coffee table. Oh, so dirty, Jimmy. Uh, uh. Ow! My neck! Sit down. I'll give you a massage. All right, but no trying to seduce me, Kabish. I know what you were doing there with the magic swirling ass. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Your hands are so soft. Hey, that's not fair. Cut it out. Look at this mess. You're really living up the people's low expectations here. Way I see it, before we leave, we make Petey clean everything up. And people call you that dumb one. Let's make some work for him. <laughs> hey, that looks like fun. <laughs> I just took Ziggy for a three-hour walk to the end of the driveway. Alligators are kind of boring. He don't look too good. Anybody feed him? I filled his bowl with tofu. Tofu? He's a connoisseur. He needs meat. Here you go, little fella. Ha! You're gonna have to move faster than that, ugly. You probably shouldn't do that. Nah, he loves it, right? Ah! Oh! 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 That's what you get for teasing him. Let him go! Don't hurt him! Oh my god, Cheech! Oh no, Ziggy! Didn't you feed the dogs? Again, tofu. Cool. Ha! He missed. Poof. 
Lucky I got away. Cookie's Naka's got a kung fu grip. Give me the sperm, big boy. No! It's mine! Until I squeeze it out of you, then it's mine. Oh, mine! <laughs> Kids gotta come home. Cookie's got baby crazy. What happened? You teased the gator? You know me so well. What are you so worked up about? You don't want a baby, just don't have sex with Cookie. Yeah, you're right, but... Uh, what is it? Uh, it's just we haven't, you know, done it in a couple of weeks, and I, uh... Ah, you got what the medical professionals call blue balls. <gasps> Let me tell you a little secret I learned in prison. Okay, stop talking. No, that's only to get cigarettes. I'm talking about beating it like it owes you money. I can't do that in the house. Cook's like a bloodhound. She'll smell the baby better a mile away and confiscate it. It's like a seven cents. We all know what a six one is. Ew, who was that? <laughs> it was Petey. I know your brand, mister. Oh, I once broke wind in Reno and she called to rag me out. So, she's got a nose for farts and man milk. You don't gotta yank it in the house. There's lots of other places. Bus shelters, department store change rooms, back pew to church. I get it! I'll figure it out. Good. In the meantime, I'll talk some sense into Cookie. You go find some place to have a nice little masturbate. <gasps> oh, don't look at me, lady. He's the one about to abuse himself like a circus monkey. <laughs> Cookie, look at this crap. Kids cost a fortune, and what do you get for it? Stinky diapers and a lot of back talk. I get that from you already. Besides, babies are wonderful. You can't beat that baby smell. Their little feet, all the sweet sounds they make. They do make cute little sounds. And that nice, warm feeling when they snuggle on you. Ooh, I love that snuggly feeling. It reminds me of my old soulmate, Rapey Joe. The way they gaze up at you, knowing that you're their entire universe, and they love you like no one has ever loved you before. Now I want a baby. Aren't you sterile? You mean senile. And yes, Dolores, I will have a donut. All right, I'm out. Looking for dogs is beneath me. Galak suckers. Not so fast. The dogs will wander back, but we need a new Siegfried. No, we don't. Who cares, Teresa? I pushed for this job. If I screw it up, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Yeah, gonna. I am not dealing with Ma saying, You see, Petey should have been the house sitter. F him. I'm right here! It's just an expression, Petey. Anyway, I need you both to get on board and help me find an alligator. Why would you need to find an alligator, Teresa? Uh, cause Cheech really took to Siggy and wants one for himself. I always pegged Cheech for an animal lover. Although on some level I imagined that literally. Of course, alligators are tricky to find in Regina. You can ask my colleague about it when she returns home tomorrow. Tomorrow? Her assignment was cut short. She can't wait to feel the leathery embrace of Siegfried again. And she'll be thrilled he'll have a chum for future playdates. Good luck in your search. All right, I'm back in. Aw, thanks, Gina. I don't want to miss everyone going ballistic when you screw this up. Cheech, how'd it go talking to Cook? Not good. <clears throat> how about you? Did you manage to take your hand out for a liquid lunch? No, and I'm dying here. Tell Cookie to lay off the dirty texts. I gotta go. I'm feeling lightheaded. Did you get my picture? Because I'm sending you about 200 more. Cook, please, stop. <laughs> That's it! I can't take this no more! Regina Tourism! Let me tell you what I want to do to you, big boy. First, I'm gonna... Oh, my! All right, Jimbo, man up and do this.
kind of heartless world is this where a guy can't find a place to have a tender moment with himself? That'll do. Well, Tree, I guess I'm gonna tap you with my sap. My own! Okay, God, I get it. It's a sin. Fucking lay off, will ya? All right, citizens, disperse. There's nothing to see here. Brian Adams' bleeding fingers. What are you doing up there? Trying to avoid sex with my wife? Get down, Jimmy. Who? <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. So what's all this about avoiding sex with Cookie? I don't want her getting pregnant. That's all you gotta know. I see. Well, why not get a vasectomy? How is converting to Jewism gonna help? No, that's circumcision. A vasectomy is different. You want me to cut the whole thing off? Like a Ken doll? No, it's when your vas deferens get clipped and clamped. Well, it's probably easier if I show you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm surprised you don't know about this. Did you step in something, Jimmy? Nope. And all I know about that stuff is it's the devil's work. No, it's not. And if you want to have worry-free relations with Cookie, this way is 100% effective. Are you sure you don't smell something ripe? For Canada, where God does it ever stink! Oh, this'll drive Jimmy wild. God! My back is killing me. Careful, lady, that same outfit got me into this mess in the first place. But you're so blessed. Blessed? That's cute. You got kids? I'm almost pregnant with my fourth. Whoopee. I'm almost gonna kill myself. But isn't it wonderful having that little miracle growing inside you? There's your miracle, lady. Is that you or me? I can't feel anything but my hemorrhoids burning like a ghost pepper butt plug. But you're both about to receive the most amazing gift. A child to hold and love and imprint all your failures on. Some freaking gift. I poop whenever I sneeze. All right, Jimmy. You can do this. One little snip and... <laughs> my boys. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy my bulls a farewell drink. This one? Oh, <laughs> looks like a snappy little bastard. So how do we get it? Easy. We lower Gina down by her legs and she grabs it. I'm not going in there. But you're the smallest. You're the ugliest. If your face gets ripped off, no one will know the difference. Come here. Gina, stop! Stop it, you two! If we want to catch an alligator, we're going to need some bait. So, which of these lizards swallowed the diamond? The small one, Cheech. But keep your eye on the big one. Got it. He's the muscle. You fellas that look good on my feet. What? I take it back. Just like Cody Island. Leave the bottle. What are you doing here? Hey, Cook. I needed a drink. I was at the vasectomy clinic. You got a vasectomy? But Father O'Malley told us that's how the terrorists win. Relax. I didn't do it. Look. If it's between having another kid or having some doctor shove scissors into my nutsack, <laughs> what I mean is I love you, Cook. If you want a baby, I won't stand in your way. In fact, I'll lie on top of you. Hey, there's the chick who wants to shove a bowling ball out her hoo-ha. <sighs> yeah? Well, at least I don't poke my pants. Yeah, if she wanted to, she could shove two bowling balls out her... Stop helping, Jimmy. <laughs> It's a shame we gotta cut this cute little fella open. I already told ya! There's no diamond! I faced death for that rock! It's real to me! They're back! Oh crap! They got a taste for lizard meat! Hurry, right, uh, toss in the data! Never! Ow! Son of a bitch! We'll turn Petey's room into a nursery, he'll go in Cheech's room, and Cheech moves into the garage. Come on, have a heart. Make Petey move into the garage. Or the bus shelter down the street. 
Oh, Jesus Christ! It's what we all want. Look! <laughs> You'll never take my baby! Never take my baby! <gasps> Set! That's better. Stay away from my kids, you bitches! They're females, right? You're taking care of them, and you don't even... <laughs> ah! Oh, it is on, you mother! Look at you, kids. Your mother had to get rabies shots in her guts because of you. And this is how you thank her? Don't worry about it. I'm just glad they're home. Teresa, I'm very cross with you. Rosa's house was left in an abysmal state. For some reason, the dogs won't come out from under the porch, and Siegfried is missing. What? We put that gator back. Yo, cook, the kid's latching, but I'm not producing. Do I breastfeed on the left side or on the right? Cheech, give Siegfried back to me this instant. What's with your face? You get crap in your eyes or something? No, why do you ask? Want to sneak upstairs and see if we can flag down a stork? Huh? I was being cute. I meant let's go put a load of baby in you. We're right here. We can hear ya. <sighs> I think maybe I'm OK, Jimmy. I'm better off counting the two blessings I already got. There's three of us. Shut up, Petey. You sure? Yeah, baby, I know you came around to the idea. I hope you're not too disappointed. Yeah! All right! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, baby! La 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 Saskatchewan, la 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 la